Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Now guys, I will say one thing. As you guys know, I love technology. I love it more than anything. And what I will say is that recently I've been going back and forth whether or not I wanted to buy a Galaxy Fold 2. Currently Galaxy Fold 2 is actually on sale down to $15.99 if you buy it from Samsung. So I was going back and forth, do I want to buy a Galaxy Fold? Do I not? Do I want to? Do I not? Now the reason why I personally did not is for a couple reasons. Because the Galaxy Fold 3 is coming out this year. Now, right now, the rumored date for this to come out is around June. That's where a lot of people are saying that this probably will come out around is June. Will it come out around June? We have to wait and see what they end up doing. But let's go ahead and talk about some things that could be added to the brand new Galaxy Fold 3. Now, number one, and I'm going to say my biggest concerns about it, and I'm going to say what I have heard rumors of it actually having. Number one is water resistance. Keep that in mind. I did not say waterproof. This right here is an iPhone. This has an IP rating up to a very good IP rating actually. And that means that I could dunk this into water and it will not break. Now there are tests on YouTube of other people dunking the Galaxy Fold 2 in the water and it has not broke so it is somewhat is water resistant it's not waterproof but with this brand new galaxy fold 3 i hope that they can push that maybe a tad bit and if we can get an ip rating on this galaxy fold 3 that might be one of the biggest improvements of the Galaxy Fold 3. That would be honestly amazing. Now I know it's not it's not I, I it's never gonna be to a point of what an iPhone is. Because at the end of the day, the thing folds open, it folds close. And the screen and the hinges, it's just you can't make it so that zero water could ever get inside this device. But you can make it more resistant to the device. And if you can make it resistant enough, you can get an IP rating on this device. And if they can do that. That'd be pretty amazing. Now, I think, again, Samsung's going to probably tr take this as careful as possible because they do not want to put an IP rating on this device. Someone ends up breaking it from water damage and then suing Samsung saying, well, you guys said it was IP blank. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Nonetheless, though, we also have some other rumored changes. Now, this is starting off right away uh, by, I'm just going to go ahead and say, this picture on the screen is from techradar.com. So just credit to them. Uh, I am using their image. Uh, it is just a mock-up of what the Galaxy Fold 3 could be. Now, first thing, as you guys can see, is easier one-handed use. Now, if you look at the thing on the screen right now, you can tell that screen looks like the Galaxy Fold 2, but it's a tad bit different. It actually kind of looks like the Galaxy Fold 2 and the Galaxy Fold 1 combined together because the screen would be more narrow and the same size, but more narrow. Now, the reason why this would be the case is for easier hand of one hand use. And again, I know the big thing with the Galaxy Fold 2 from the Galaxy Fold 1 was the fact that you could, again, have that top screen and actually use it to do many things. Galaxy Fold 1, you kind of couldn't use that top screen at all, let's be honest. Now, Galaxy Fold 2, you could. But it was, is this still kind of awkward holding it one-handed with the fact of, again, the screen being so tall and it being a little bit more thicker. Now, if you shrink that down a little bit, might be a lot more usable with one hand if again you do go ahead and shrink it down with the narrow wise and make it a little bit easier with one hand use not a big big deal but definitely a deal that i would like to see change in this next one next one more on board storage Again, you cannot put a uh, SIM card in, well, not SIM card, sorry, uh, SD card in this device. It would be cool if there was just more storage on the device already. I mean, we saw with the Galaxy Note series, we have a, what, 128 gigabyte, a 512 gigabyte. If you could even put maybe a terabyte on this, it would be even more awesome. With the screen real estate and the idea of this device, this is, I know not everyone uses it as, but this is a multimedia device. Device. And again, more storage, always a good thing. You take a picture of this bad boy. You're going and using this bad boy. 
all types of things to go ahead and have more storage would be nice to have on the galaxy fold 3 now again as you can see on the screen it says says light indicator and it says hinge cover light element uh light module and again just a little bit like adding different lights to it different notification sounds different notification lights you know going off that kind of stuff light diffusion obviously to make it easier now next thing i want to talk about is going to be a better screen now for the galaxy fold one when that first came out there was people day one destroying their galaxy full one by accident if you peel off the screen protector you pretty much peel off the screen and you destroyed it we saw mg or mdk i always say his name incorrectly you guys know what i'm talking about he destroyed his screen it was a huge thing all over twitter and samsung had to go ahead and put out different um video they had to go out and put out a little warning thing on all the devices saying please hey fingernails a jerry rig everything i think that's where that came from but the fingernails you know do not peel the screen protector you know be very careful with this device do not use an s pen all that kind of stuff they had to be very very mindful of telling people because they were getting sued so therefore galaxy fold 2 comes around and it's a lot more durable the glass one was plastic one is glass it's very much more durable but it's not to a point that's actually very very amazing now i know we're never gonna see a grill glass on this galaxy fold 3 let's be honest that's just not gonna happen okay you can't fold glass okay you they have the reason why this works is they're using a micro layer piece of glass that they're able to fold together this is something where again if you have regular glass you're not gonna be able to do it so if they can make that even a little bit tougher even a little bit more you know like advanced to a point where it's even stronger that i think would be an amazing thing with the galaxy fold 3 and i'm really hoping they will i'm really hoping they will all right longer battery life now i have a couple friends who have this device now that's not what i'm going off of a lot is my friends who have this device i have a couple people i know so they tell me that the battery life is pretty okay I mean, if you're using both screens, you're going to have less battery life. I basically what I understand seven to eight hours of screen time. If you have the, you know, close using the top screen, you can have up to a day battery life one around 12, 15 hours with the battery life. If you use just a top screen. So overall, I mean, you put a bigger battery in this bad boy. You could definitely, uh, definitely be awesome. Again, we did see with the Galaxy um, S21 Ultra had a 5,000 milliamp battery. Absolutely insane battery-wise. Could be awesome to put that in this bad boy again. More power battery, more power to the device. Next thing I want to talk about, guys, is better cameras. Now, these cameras are pretty good, but they don't have something that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra had, and that, of course, is the zooming capabilities that that phone has. Now, let me let me go ahead and just say this right now. This phone, at the moment, when it comes out, will probably be $2,200, $2,300, okay? I don't think it's outrageous to ask for a feature that's an $1,100 phone in a $2,300 phone. It's really not that crazy to ask. Now, overall, the cameras on this bad boy, the Galaxy Fold 2, were amazing. And I'm expecting the Galaxy Fold 3 to be a little bit better, but not too, too much better. But still, improvements to the camera would definitely be very, very nice and very, very helpful to make this device even more reasonable to spend $2,300 on for this device guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions though so what we let, let's recap everything we know most likely it's going to come out in june or july probably going to be twenty three hundred dollars going to have better water resistance not waterproof maybe just maybe we get an ip rating better screen technology more storage options hopefully and overall a thinner top screen this could be an amazing device depending on how samsung does this now there is shortages around the world right now of certain electronics and you know components to make electronics so we'll see how you know if this does get delayed or pushed back we saw you know the um air the airpods pro 
3 or AirPods 3 uh, get delayed. So we might see this get delayed. We might not. I'm excited about it because, again, like I said, I was going to buy I was gonna buy the full 2 and I'm like, wait, the full 3 might be coming out in a couple months. I'm going to wait on that one. Uh, same thing with the MacBook uh, Pro. I was going to buy a new MacBook Pro and I'm like, wait, the 16 inch is coming out in probably a couple months. Let me wait on that. Let me go ahead and see what ends up happening. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like, subscribe, and down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.